want to do is show you guys how to complete the square. And uh, the reason why we want to complete the square is when we can't factor something and we maybe don't want to do a uh, quadratic formula or maybe we're trying to convert a polynomial um, from a, you know, a quadratic form to, uh, to its vertex, vertex form. So we don't want to complete the square. Um, what we're going to be looking at is we're going to want to get a perfect square trinomial. Okay? And what that looks like I'll talk about in a second. But what we can do is you always want to isolate your variables. Okay? So here I have the 10 is over on the right side, and that's good. A lot of times you'll be getting it in quadratic form. You might receive the problem like x squared plus 4x um, minus 10 equals 0. It's always good. It's always helpful to get that 10 to the other side. You can do it with the 10 on this side. Um, and I've, I've shown problems how to do it like that. But it's sometimes also helpful just to get that 10 over to that side because then you're not worrying about commingling problems and getting it wrong. So here I have an x on both sides, all right? Um, and when you have, when you have your first two terms, I have this to an x squared plus 4x. So what our goal is, we want to get this to be a binomial squared, meaning we're going to have something x plus or minus a number squared, all right? So right now we only have two terms. We need to create a third term, right? Because a binomial times a binomial, like I said, is, like when we do this, usually gives us this, we want to get this perfect square trinomial, which means we multiply it out to have three terms. So I need to find out what is this extra term we're going to add. Well, what we can do is we can take our middle term, which we call b over 2, and square it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 4, divide it by 2, and square it. Well, 4 divided by 2 is 2 squared. And whatever your 4 divided by 2 or your b divided by 2 is very helpful. And I'll tell you guys why in a second. So therefore, I end up getting 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 4 into this side. So x squared plus 4x plus 4. And then, since I added it to the left side, I have to add a 4 to the right side. Now, what we can do is, since we have, what we've done is we've just created a perfect square trinomial. And so what we have is, we have x plus 2 squared. And this works every time when you complete the square correctly. And really, all I did was, I did x you know, plus your b over 2 squared. So you just take x plus whatever your b over 2 is, and then square it. And that will always give you a perfect square trinomial. And that's what's so helpful about this, because now we have x plus 2 squared equals 14. All right? So um, this is very helpful. Like I said, if I wanted to solve from here, I could solve for x uh, by taking the square root and then subtracting 2. If I wanted to put it into a vertex form for a polynomial, or I'm sorry, a parabola to graph, I could subtract 14 and get it to 0. And then I could graph this. Right? So there's a lot of different forms that come from completing the square. Um, just remember to take your middle term, which would be b, divide it by 2, square it, whatever that number is, add it to both sides. Then on the left side, rewrite it as a perfect square binomial by taking b over 2, x plus b over 2, and squaring it. And then whatever your problem's asking you to do, if it's just saying complete the square or if it's saying you know, solve, but that's how you complete the square um, from our given points.